Hi, I'm Karen Margolis, Senior Medical Director at Health Partners Institute in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I spoke earlier today as part of the women's health segment on sex differences in hypertension, when should we approach women differently than men? Um, today's talk was about um, hypertension e epidemiology, uh, diagnosis, treatment, and special issues affecting women. So hypertension is found in 34% of adults in the US and in women it becomes more prevalent than men starting at age 65. Hypertension awareness, treatment, and control is higher in women than in men in all racial ethnic groups including whites, blacks, Hispanics, and Asians. With regard to hypertension diagnosis, we should treat women and men the same. Um, hypertension treatment provides similar benefits in terms of blood pressure lowering and cardiovascular disease prevention in women and men for all treatment regimens. There are some special reproductive factors uh, where we do need to treat women differently than men. So first, for contraception, Combined hormonal contraception is not recommended in women with hypertension or cardiovascular disease. Fortunately, we have a lot of great other alternatives to help prevent pregnancy in women uh, with those problems, including copper IUDs, levonorgestrel IUDs, and also levonorgestrel implants. Uh, menopause treatments, it turns out, actually do not really affect blood pressure very much. Uh, minimal impact of hormonal treatment for menopause. And then finally, pregnancy is an issue because we need to avoid uh, certain medications, particularly uh, ACE inhibitors and ARBs in women who are pregnant or who may become pregnant. Um, and then the last but not least, uh, there's some serious pregnancy uh, hypertension issues that can affect women long term. Preeclampsia does increase women's risk uh, even following pregnancy for uh, both long term hypertension and cardiovas cardiovascular disease. So that's what we talked about today. Thanks.